It's the chaotic cop confrontation that launched an internal investigation within the Marietta Police Department. Officers worked to restrain a suspect inside a local IHOP restaurant. But was their use of force justified? The News Edge reporter George Franco joins us from the Marietta Police Department with the details of this investigation tonight. George? Well, Doug and Sine, Marietta police tell us this all started when an employee of this IHOP called 911 about a customer who was making threatening remarks. His family told me that they're talking to an attorney as he sits in jail. It happened early Sunday morning. On video, you see a Marietta police officer punching 39-year-old Renardo Lewis as others try to restrain him inside the IHOP. There's no weapon involved, so why did it call so many officers? Gerald Rowe says his advocacy group, the New Order National Human Rights Organization, took up the case after the video surfaced. Is there anything you guys want to say? No, no comment? No comment from Lewis's family, but Rose questions the need for so many officers. Is the allegation police brutality? I'm looking at it right now, yes. That is the allegation. You have an officer who doesn't know if a suspect is armed. He's responding to a call that he's made threats to kill everyone in the business. Officer Chuck McPhillamy says police responded to a 911 call from an IHOP employee about a customer making threats, including a gesture he had a gun. He says Lewis and his wife argued with officers, which escalated to a tussle between Lewis and several officers. McPhillamy says officers used only their hands before Lewis was tased about 90 seconds in. He says when the tase didn't stop Lewis, an officer punched him to restrain him to cuff him. What you have is really a show of great restraint by these officers. The 39-year-old owns this Marietta restaurant and, according to police, was upset because his wife's order didn't have bacon. The family told me they're speaking to their attorney while police conduct an internal investigation and confirm Lewis did not have a weapon. Only the force necessary to get him in cuffs was used. That's what they're saying. That's the proof that I want to see to make sure that um, they're telling the truth.